Summer is on its way. We're getting ready here at the Stereoscope Journey Studio for uh, participating with the Wells Book Arts Program with their Summer Institute 2022 live in-person learning. It's a week-long uh, stay on the campus course for that specializes in book arts uh, topics, but this year they're trying something new. They're adding on stereo, uh, stereo photography. Uh, boy, if that's new to you, uh, stick around. You're gonna see some, some cool stuff and uh, we're gonna take this to the next level. So uh, let's go. If we haven't met before, my name is Diego Reese. I am a stereo photographer. That's a guy who photographs with two different cameras at the same time. Uh, the purpose is to mimic the Victorian images of the, that were actually made in 3D over 100 years ago. Uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. So in, the, in this class, we're gonna see, uh, dissect how they did it, why they did it, what it led to, um, their equipment, and then bring it to modern day. Uh, you're gonna be working with new equipment, but uh, most importantly, you're, you're gonna be working with your own normal everyday camera. Uh, so long as that camera is able to shoot in manual mode, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. If you don't have a camera that you think would be suitable, um, you can just look on top of your camera and see if it has the M for manual setting. If you do, we're a go. If it doesn't, um, we uh, have a handful of, uh, of Nikon D90s that I'd be willing to let uh, particip participants use and uh, just go ahead and email me ahead of time to reserve one. We are going to be diving in deep on the Victorian stereoscope. Uh, that'll be the first part of the class. Uh, really, what is the magic that's happening and how uh, how can we reproduce that today? And, and why should we? Uh, this device allowed the photographers of the day to work with a specialty camera that captured a scene from two different perspectives, just the same as your eyes are capturing from two different locations. That combined with the scope gave uh, 3D that was uh, really uh, groundbreaking. In the class, you're gonna be working with a few stereoscopic viewers uh, that will be included with the kit. Uh, you're also going to be making the, uh, some of your finest images. You're going to be making prints and mounting those to a card that will uh, be in the same fashion as the Victorian uh, stereo card setup. And they'll work uh, flawlessly in, in a Victorian scope. But uh, the viewers that you'll be getting with the class, they'll work for that as well. All right, so if you're wondering who is the ideal student for this class and what should they have under their belt already? Well, uh, boy, that's a broad answer because I think if you are brand new to photography, you're gonna be stepping up your game like crazy. If you are new uh, or if, you have, if you're a seasoned photographer, but you haven't stuck your toe in the water of stereoscopic imagery, um, you're gonna find that it is so vastly different from shooting in 2D that uh, you're gonna be learning a lot of things uh, from scratch, but you're also gonna be unlearning a lot of things that, you, uh, that are just second nature to you. So it gets to be difficult to uh, leave, your, leave your background behind you and start with, an, with a fresh, open mind. Uh, with all the different exercises in this class, uh, I think it's going to really solidify the, the process of going down, identifying the, the variables involved specifically to uh, 3D shooting and handle each one and make a shot that is strong, compelling, and uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't want you taking home shots that are gonna look good to just your family. I want you making shots that you can show to stereo photographers and, and have, them, uh, <laughs> have them appreciate the work you're doing. So spots are limited. Uh, if you are the type of person 
who enjoys the mechanics of making a photographic image or eh, mechanics of making anything. We're gonna get you going with photography to the point where you're not afraid to set it to the manual position anymore and really make all the decisions yourself. So it's gonna be July 18th through the 22nd here in the Finger Lakes region on uh, Cayuga Lake at Wells College. Uh, come along, let's see what's happening. Uh, make some new friends from around the country and uh, seats are, uh, are limited. So uh, uh, go ahead and check on the link that uh, takes you to the Wells Book Arts Program and you'll see all of the uh, uh, instructors courses and uh, get a feel for what the whole program is going to be about. Okay, thank you guys. We'll see you around.